Hello, everyone, and welcome to Esri Press Interviews. I'm Carolyn Schott, Senior Editor at Esri Press, and today we have Pinde Fu. Pinde is the author of Getting to Know WebGIS 4th Edition, which he wrote for Esri. Pinde leads the ArcGIS Platform Engineering Team at Esri Professional Services and teaches at universities, including Harvard University Extension School. His specialties include web and mobile GIS technologies and applications in various industries, and several of his projects have won Special Achievement Awards. Thank you, Pinde, for joining us today. Now I'd like to hand this over to, to you and give you a chance to talk about yourself and your work. Thanks, Caroline. That was a, a nice intro. Uh, I just want to add a little bit about uh, what I do. Uh, I work at ESRI. I design and uh, implement WebGIS solutions using pretty much the entire ArcGIS uh, platform, ArcGIS Online, ArcGIS Enterprise, uh, Web Builder, Experience Builder, mobile apps, etc. And uh, I develop custom app, uh, applications using Java, JavaScript, uh, Python, and other languages. I teach. I teach at Harvard Extension and uh, some other universities. And I write. I write for Azure Press on WebGIS. And uh, at my spare time after work, I like to play piano. Great. Well, thank you for that, Pende. Now we have some interesting questions that have come in through our readers. So let's get started. So, Pinde, what motivates you to write about this subject? Well, many people feel the internet, the web, their mobile phones are fun and useful. They are motivated to use their phones uh, using the internet. I'm just the same. I feel WebGIS is so much fun and so much useful that I, I wanted to share the value and the fun of WebGIS with, uh, with everybody. So, writing, that was why I wanted to write a book. Writing a book is a perfect way to achieve that. Uh, working at Esri Professional Services, I've got the opportunities to work on a lot of cool projects. Many of these projects are related with WebGIS. Uh, when I was working on these projects, I was fascinated by the great fun, the great value of WebGIS. I decided to write a book. It, the idea actually uh, emerged in my mind, in my heart, in 2008. Uh, I talked with the Azure Press. Azure Press liked the idea. So we started publishing books on WebGIS. Uh, in the past several years, we have uh, published uh, WebGIS principles and applications and four editions of uh, Getting to Know WebGIS. My Getting to Know WebGIS has become a premier book in the WebGIS field. It has been adopted by uh, many universities in the United States and in the world. Uh, in the world. And uh, it has been adopted by many professionals uh, for an author, this is very satisfying. Well, Pinde, you've written several books on WebGIS. So what advice would you give to someone else who wants to write a book on GIS? People usually think that you have to be a professor or working in the academia to, to be qualified to publish a book. But this is not true. If you are good at a subject, you are passionate about sharing it, you, uh, there is a good demand for it in the market, then you should consider writing a book. You can talk with, with a publisher. You may be surprised by what your book could turn to and uh, uh, the vast value your book could bring to the world. As far as GIS books, uh, any GIS subjects has its uh, scientific root, its principles, its applications, and its technical how-tos. You can write a book on any or all of these subjects, uh, all of these aspects of your subject. Today's students do like to learn GIS through hands-on labs. Uh, tutorial books can find a lot of readers. So if you are read, if you are to write a tutorial book, I would suggest that you include the big picture, some applications or case studies, and uh, some principles about your subject. This way, your readers can learn both the tree and the forest, learn both the why and the how. That was my suggestion. So what do you see students, most students struggle with in class? One thing I did see some students struggled with was about uh, IT knowledge. Uh, WebGS does involve the cloud, uh, web servers, web services, web browsers, web apps, mobile devices, mobile apps, uh, etc. It can be overwhelming for those students who don't have uh, such IT background. Uh, in my book and uh, in my classes, I have uh, attempted to make it easy for my for my readers, for my students. Uh, 
The book explains complex technical jargons using plain language and uh, using well-designed graphics and tries to accommodate readers with all kinds of backgrounds. Usually after the first few chapters uh, and the first few classes, most of the readers and students can pick up the IT knowledge and can feel more comfortable with WebGIS. Cool. Well, what prerequisite skills or experience should a reader have before picking up this book? Not a lot. Uh, no previous GIS program background is required. You don't have to be a GIS or computer science major. If you have the basic experience with uh, online maps and mobile apps, you can finish most of the chapters successfully. Uh, I've got students from all skill levels, all majors, all backgrounds. They complete my course successfully. Uh, one reason that uh, uh, today's WebGIS platform has uh, got a pretty good user experience. The UI is made simple, intuitive, and uh, convenient. Uh, another reason is, is about my book. Uh, the technical overviews, uh, principles, tutorials are organized in a systematic order, advancing step by step. Uh, each chapter completes one or more projects uh, from the cloud or server side to the browser or mobile side. You can create web apps easily and quickly and see your apps immediately. So it's pretty easy. But I have to say, um, some sections in some chapters, such as the spatial analysis chapter, uh, image services chapter, and uh, JavaScript chapter, these are challenging. But if you stick to it, you go through these sections, or even just read through these sections, uh, you will gain a good understanding of some advanced topics, uh, such as spatial data science, artificial intelligence, and uh, WebGIS programming. Well, the new edition of Getting to Know WebGIS includes updates on the Esri Geospatial Cloud. So what do you hope to accomplish with this edition? Well, I hope to advocate the advantages of uh, the Geospatial Cloud. It's uh, flexibility, uh, scalability, agility, it's cost efficiency. Uh, Geospatial Cloud combines the forces of GIS and uh, elastic computing and empowers our users in many ways. Uh, Geospatial Cloud is scalable. You can ingest high volume, high velocity data streams using ArcGIS for IoT, for example. You can perform real-time big data analysis in the cloud. Uh, the cloud can search resources during critical events such as the pandemic response. Uh, for example, the coronavirus dashboard by uh, Johns Hopkins University has been viewed 1.7 billion times in the last several months. ArcGIS Online supported this viral app with fast and stable performance. Uh, Geospatial Cloud supports spatial data science. You can create an isolated Jupyter notebook environment for yourself in ArcGIS Online in a few seconds. In this dedicated in environment for you, you can write your own Python script. You can run deep learning and artificial intelligence models. You can do all this with just a web browser or even just on your mobile phone, on your, on your uh, mobile browser. Uh, today, Geospatial Cloud is becoming the primary way to deliver GIS, not just the functionalities, but, uh, but also content, uh, such as the rich content available uh, through living islands of the world. Uh, because of the rich content, the rich functionalities, the reduced complexity, the increased availability, the flexible pay-as-you-go or subscription-based price model, the power of GIS has, uh, has been adopted by many organizations that uh, did not know GIS before or could not afford GIS before. These are all exciting uh, to me, I, I guess, to the GIS community. Well, as someone with experience teaching remotely, which is um, really needed these days, what tips do you have for teachers who are trying to teach your book remotely? The pandemic crisis has forced many changes in education. One of them is online teaching. Uh, many universities has decided to switch to online or online and on-site hybrid for the upcoming semesters. I would say a WebGIS is a perfect course for teaching online. Uh, you can teach most of the chapters in the book with just a web browser. Uh, your students can complete most of the labs with just a web browser or just even a mobile phone or tablet. 
you will find this uh, course is easy to teach online. And for your students, today's young students, they are uh, digital natives. They, are, they were born into the, this web era. They grew up with the web, with smartphones. They like web technology. They will find a WebGIS course engaging. They will like your course. So as far as tips, uh, I do have a couple. Uh, first, you don't have to teach the whole book. This book is long. It covers uh, Esri's entire WebGIS platform. But you don't have to teach all chapters and uh, all sections in the book. Uh, this is your course. You decide what to teach based on your expertise, your students' needs, and uh, the products you have. Uh, second is that uh, make the book relevant to your students, to your university, to your communities, and to our world today. Uh, this book has attempted to do it. You can further build on it. Uh, for example, the Survey 103 tutorial in the book creates a mobile survey for students or staff to report non-emergency incidents, such as uh, my lights out, my, my lights out they need to be replaced, the glasses are broken, uh, I see glasses on the ground on campus they need to be uh, fixed. So they can use this survey to uh, request services. You may discuss with your students how this survey could be enhanced, what other surveys or mobile apps your university or community would need. Another example uh, is uh, uh, there's one assignment in the book is to animate the spatial temporal data of COVID-19 confirmed cases. You may ask your students, with the skills we learned in each chapter, what other information products uh, we can create for uh, fighting COVID-19? Another tip I would say, uh, just make your course interactive and fun. Encourage your students to share their web apps on social media, share their apps with uh, their friends or fam their families. Thanks, Penny. Taking from your book, what are some of your favorite things about ArcGIS Experience Builder? The Experience Builder is the next generation of uh, ArcGIS Web Builder. It has many enhancements over the Web Builder. I like uh, many of its features, many of the enhancements. First, I like its uh, flexible layouts. You can build apps that are map-centric or non-map-centric, one-page app or multiple-page apps. You can precisely configure the look and feel and many details of your widgets. I like the support for uh, mobile-first design. You can specifically configure the layout, the functions of your app for different screen sizes for desktop browsers, for mobile browsers, and for tablets. And then when users bring up your app, your app will respond to the screen size, different screen sizes automatically, and change its layout and function to best fit user screen size. And uh, another great feature that uh, uh, Experience Builder integrates 2D and 3D map views in one app. And it, it also provides actions and triggers which is a great feature that uh, you may have seen in ArcGIS dashboards. With action triggers, you can make one widget respond to the actions of another widget. For example, when the 2D map view zooms, pans, rotates, you can configure your 3D map views to zoom, pan, and rotate and following the 2D map view. I thought these are pretty cool. Um, I have used Web Builder extensively in my work at Esri, in my work at Esri at Professional Services with my projects. I have developed many custom widgets. Web Builder is great now. Experience Builder is even better. So I look forward to use uh, the Experience Builder in my upcoming projects. Great. Well, you know, Pina, you've made this subject both fun and functional. So if you wanted your readers to take away one thing from reading your books, what would it be? I hope my book could uh, spark readers' imagination and creativity. I hope my readers, you can all think about how WebGS is relevant to you, to yourself, to your work, and uh, to your passion. And use WebGS to innovate your existing workflow, 
and use Web GIS to transform the creative ideas in your mind into realities. And to help addressing the many challenges facing our communities and facing our world today. Well, thank you, Pinde. I'd like to thank our author, Pinde Fu, for taking this time to talk to us. You can find his latest book, Getting to Know WebGIS 4th Edition, at the Esri Merchandise Store and from select online retailers. Again, thank you, Pinde, and have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you at the virtual UC. Thank you very much, Caroline. Thank you for having me.